talking about because Jiren wants a bunch of Universal Eleven characters, especially you. You are low key, low key a, a sleeper free to play unit. You might get a video for my unit review. I gotta do a unit review too. You do. I'm gonna do a unit review tomorrow. Yeah, I'm do today's one tomorrow. Because I've been keeping up with the weekly unit reviews. Hey, you have. Because remember, like a couple weeks. You ago, have. Like, no, 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 we don't have to hear none of that. So today we're gonna be talking about the physical Castrol Pride Troopers unit. Don't mind me on the side. I'm just playing Dokkan. Uh, so I am not gonna lie to you guys. I am a very forgetful person. Uh, today you guys are gonna get a double upload. You're gonna get the custom card review as well as the unit review. Those are my two main forms of content. If you guys have watched the quick update uh, channel video. Uh, anyways. Uh, Castro Pride Troopers. Now, although they are, uh, they are a bit one-dimensional. They are really just a stacking free-to-play unit that can get up to a high amount of defense, provided you're able to hide them in the correct positions. Um, in the fight. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about them. So, the physical Castro Pride Troopers unit. So their leader skill is Universe Eleven Three Key and seventy-seven percent of the stats, or Super Class Three Key and forty percent of the stats. I want to just real quick harp on universe 11 i feel like this is a runnable team now and the reason why i say that is a you run double aglr jirens you run the the of course the easy a lr full power jiren the, the tech one obviously the yeah pretty much you run str dispo you run the physical topo you run the cash or pride troopers as a floating option and you run the int topo pride troopers that's six six in topo pride troopers str dispo uh the physical topo do confess of course as well as the physical casual you run the uh, full power lr jiren of course easy aid and lr jiren double lr jirens of course i feel like this is a runnable team although i wish they easy aid margarita yeah i wish they, they easy aid this character already so that she can technically replace the spot of of casual but hey it's not really a big deal yeah like they can easy give her an easy a uh she'd be pretty nasty you know because she'd be giving jiren how much support she'd be giving him three key and 40 percent attack and defense side over here he's on realm of gods too so he's going to be getting that additional 20 percent attack and defense he's also going to be she's also going to be rainbow orb change not that it matters because this team's going to be loaded to the brim with key but hey anyways back on over to the castral pride troopers they stack defense and gain 30% attack one turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot to read the super attack name. So their super attack name, that being the United Justice Stream. Yeah, they stack defense and gain 30% attack for one turn as well as they do supreme damage. They start out with 110% attack and defense to start a turn. The name of the passive, by the way, is Oath Between Allies. They get an additional 110% attack and defense and launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack when there's another Universe 11 category ally attack in the same turn. So you pretty much just want a Universe 11 character with them or just practically the full team because the next part of the passive pretty much requires them to have a Universe 11 uh, character with them. I mean, you just want a full Universe 11 team with them because they're supporting. You're getting the most value out of that, this character, with them supporting. Um, in the next part of the passive, they also launch a, another additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack when all allies attack in the same turn are Universe 11 category characters. And they give Universe 11 two key and 50% attack and defense. That is very, very strong. You're giving this guy, well, excuse me, I, not this guy. Uh, uh, let me uh, go back on over to Universe 11. I kept this up for like the 200 leader skills, blah, 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 and all the other good stuff. You're giving this guy, this guy, this guy, He get when he gets built up, oh my god, he can be ridiculous low-key. Uh, and this guy, you're giving this team two key and 50% attack and defense as a free-to-play unit? What was it before? Prior to their easy A, one key and 30% attack and defense. See, so yeah, it got bumped up to two key and 50% attack and defense. And they also get an additional 11% attack when performing a super attack per super class ally on the team. So that doesn't really matter. No one really cares about that part of the passive. The only part of their kit that really matters is their support as well as their two additional super attack chances. Of course, their two launching additional attacks that have a 50% chance to come with super attack under the universe 11 character restriction. So pretty much that is the reason why they are seen as like a... Mm, they are a good free to play unit, but they really need to be hidden. They really do. For meta content, they can probably get their backs blown out. Pause. They can probably get destroyed. Yeah, probably they could. Yeah. <laughs> they they could. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. I, I would like to see this guy. I would like to see these guys like some tough cop. They would get destroyed. I'm not even going to act like they wouldn't. 
they're i feel like the next long like long difficult content comes through yo how do they perform inside that red zone boss i'm not gonna lie that's interesting I, hmm i'm interested by this character i'm low-key interested by the character even though they are pretty one-dimensional they're just a stacking character that can get up to a a good amount of defense provided they are hidden from attacks I am just in, interested by this character. Now, um, of course, the positives about this character is the fact they are a stacking character that has uh, two additional super attack chances built into them under their Universe 11 restriction. They are, of course, getting an additional attack and defensive buff when you do have the Universe 11 category ally attack in the same turn, so that is nice for them, as well as them being a support type unit. A support type unit that has two additional super attack chances as well as stacking defense, good. Now, the problem with this unit, obviously, is... Uh, I wouldn't say they're link set because you're going to be running them with universe 11 characters regardless. So I think they're going to be a okay there because you're going to have tournament of power active. You're going to have Supreme warrior active with who? Let me double check. Yeah. You're going to get these links active. Yeah. With mainly just this guy and Dokkan as Topo. Yeah. I mean, you could do it with the STR dispo. Uh, Jiren's going to be a no. Um, yeah, Lynx could be a little bit weird then. I mean, it's... But you have Terminate Power. Terminate Power is going to easily carry them. Most certainly. Cold Judgment is obviously nice for them to have. Um, Cold Judgment, Terminate Power. Yeah. Pretty much within those two lines. I mean, Signature Pose. Getting it with the specific unit would be nice. But Lynx... I feel like they're, they're not... Hmm. Because they have like a mixture of like Special Pose slash, you know, T.O.P. And like, yeah, Brainiacs. Like, who are they getting Brainiacs with? Who, who are they getting Brainiacs with? I mean, you can get it with them? They are. But you're not running them right next to them. Yeah, their best linked partner is their SSR, bro. With their SSR, they get 8 key, 64% attack, 47% defense, and a 5% chance to crit, bro. What are you getting with Int Tobo and Pride Troopers? Which is like their most realistic best linked partner. Is 10 key, 54% attack. 12% defense and a 5% chance to crit. Now, realistically, you would definitely want Dokkan as Topo with them. You definitely would. Over in Topo. Yeah, I take that back about in the Topo Pride Troopers. But anyways, um, the negatives would definitely be that they're a free-to-play unit. They're easy a free-to-play unit with low stats. Obviously, that's going to be a hindrance to a unit like this. As well as their, they have a weird, I would say they have a very weird mixture of links. Makes sense for the card, but they do have a little bit of a weird mixture of links. As well as them being a stacking character, so they can get cooked very, very easily. Like, normals can definitely destroy them in meta content, but you would definitely want to hide a character like this. It's like Jiren, like, AGLR Jiren is definitely going to be doing all the work for you. Like, do you think he's going to be doing all the work? He's going to be doing the work? Who else can do, do the work? T Dispo, if he gets built up, he's going to be doing the work, the work too. As well as the physical Topo, like, yeah, most of the units on his team outside of HL Jiren. HL Jiren just does whatever he wants. And, you know, Tech LR Jiren, you know, because we sit right next to each other. Yeah, they're going to be doing their thing for the most part. They're going to be they're just destroying everything. So more than likely, if you run this character on the team, you're running them for their support. So um, let's take a quick peek at what their 200% of the use goes looking like. Of course, their best single partner is herself, and I've already checked out the stats of what it's looking like. They are on three 200% leader skills. Of course, on Jiren's 200% leader skill, Topo's, as well as the 17 and 18s, which is the one you're least likely to be running them on. Uh, and I think that is about it for them. I don't think I missed anything. I really do have to re-optimize my unit reviews, for sure. Now, we're going to be using a Dokkan Worlds um, video. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Of course, I'm going to link Dokkan Worlds video down below. I didn't watch this video. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Huh, okay. Anyways, let's see what the first turn looks like, see what the nuking turn looks like, and yeah. Uh, when did this easy A two links are active, by the way? When did this easy A well, hold on? Run them on this leader? What is hold on? What is LR full power Jiren's is it 170? It is. He's only on a 170% leader skill. So this card might be doing better. Slightly better now with that additional defense for that 200% of the skill. Let's see what he's doing on the first turn for attack. 4.1 million. You're not using this character for attack. You use this character for multiple supers. Now give me a quadruple super. Oh, you're not gonna. You're just gonna kill him off, right? Another one? <laughs> okay. 
all right, he's going to kill him off. It's a weak event, but pretty much I just want to show what the, turn, the first turn looked like. Anyways, uh, over on to the final turn. Let's see what we got here. Um. Okay. Pretty sure it's going to show it. No, it's not. When, when did this character release again? For their easy A? Ah, in March of 2023. Okay. Okay. And very certain that yeah, this guy wasn't out because he is what? When did he come out again? Yeah, he came out in 2024. Of course, obviously 2024, but when? Oh, it was in March. Okay, yeah, March of 2024. And you guys are also... You guys are a 2023 unit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you come out in March. So, yeah, these guys come out later on down the line. So, in this video, he's on no 200% leader skill here. He's just getting the support from the GT duo as well as uh, the Intopo Cry Troopers, who is their pretty much their most usable Lincoln partner at this time. Slash best Lincoln partner. Let me just fix that. Okay. Uh, let me get the turn. I skipped way past it. <laughs> <laughs> bro okay so 9 million um what is their defense the thumbnail sale is 1.5 um dogon world um what are we looking like here that's it 500k i thought it was okay so 9 million is pretty much what that turn is gonna be looking like let me see i thought it was higher huh okay that's surprising let me go back in the long event of course it's gonna be at yeah 1.5 million <laughs> A double one seventy percent. Let's go. So I think that's gonna be about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh, this is a very scuffed unit review because I have not got a chance to reoptimize it. But I had to get the unit review out regardless, and I am on some time constraints because I have a couple things I do have to do. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I will catch you guys next time. I love you all. You guys are the greatest. Thank you for watching me. Seriously, it's I love you guys. Peace.